Hi and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be going over Excel 2016 and how to use the VLOOKUP function in Microsoft Excel. So uh, this is a video request from Carrie. She basically needs to know how to use this. This is a very, very good and powerful function. So let's learn how to use it. So right here, uh, I'm using Excel 2016 on Windows 10. And so I see here that I have four products, right? and then I have some information up here about these products. Now, this information isn't too important to you. You just need to learn how to use this function, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, now, right here, I have product information lookup. So this is how I set up my VLOOKUP right here. Uh, basically says the box set. This is where I could type in the product is in this orange cell. And so I would type in say Fitbits or Great Grains or Munchy Madness or Sweet Stuff, and it should be able to return the calories, number of components, and net weight. These columns right up here, right? So basically, I type in Fitbits under calories, it should show 267, under components, three, under net weight, 20, right? So that's the basic uh, gist of how VLOOKUP works. Now, I'm gonna show you three examples of uh, the VLOOKUP and how to use it. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna type in, uh, let's type in Fitbits here. Fitbits. Okay. Now we type in Fitbits. Now, ideally, we're going to set up our V lookup functions in these three cells. So here's how we do it we go to the formulas tab, and then we go to the function library. And under this blue book right here, lookup and reference, we click on that, and then we go down here to V lookup. All right. So when you click V lookup, it's going to bring up this function arguments dialog box. All right. Here's where you have to make sure that you type in your numbers correctly, right? So lookup value is basically where are you going to have that text that you originally typed in? So in this one, the lookup value is going to be the text that I just typed in right there. So in my case, B9. And so I click on that and then it appears right here. All right. So B9 is right there. Uh, you can make these absolutes. In general, you want to make them absolute values. Uh, you can do that by pressing the F4 key on your keyboard or putting a dollar sign before and after. Okay. Now, in this case, I'm not going to make them absolutes uh, just because it'll all move faster in this video, but in general, you will. All right. So then uh, right here where it says table array, that's where you're going to choose your table. So the table here, this is going to be all of your table uh, that basically includes your left uh, information so all of your uh, row information and then all of the information to the right of that so in this case from the beginning of the products here in a2 all the way to column D and down through uh, row 5 okay so I put those in notice that I do not include the column headings so in this function we do not include those down here it says column index number. So if I'm trying to look for calories, I have to count the amount of columns over that it's going to be. So in this case, not column A, but column B. So column A is one, B is two, C is three, D is four, so on and so forth. So in this case, since B is two, I'm gonna just type a two right there. Now, when I type in the uh, two, it should give you the formula result 267, which we see right there. Okay, so you have kind of a preview of what that'll look like. But right here it says range lookup. Now this part's important because if I type in false here, that means it has to be an exact match. That means if the person types in fit bit instead of fit bits, it will uh, it'll not work basically. So if I type in false here, I do want it to be an exact match. I want to make sure that whoever's typing in the lookup uh, value that they type it in correctly. So I put false right there and then I click OK. And we see, there we go. There's our VLOOKUP function. So we were able to put that in right there and now we got our results. So that looks good. I'm going to show you it two more times now uh, with different columns. So right here it says number of components. I go back up to the formulas tab, function library, lookup and reference, VLOOKUP. And then right here it says lookup value. I again click B9, the table array will stay the same as what I chose before. And then the column index number this time, since I'm looking for look up, look a, a number of components is going to be C, which is three. All right. Last part range lookup. Since I want it to be an exact match in the lookup value, I want it to say fit bits. I click OK. And at the end, I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like when you type in different things into here. All right. So the last one here, formulas tab, function library, lookup and reference, VLOOKUP. 
So we click VLOOKUP and then we see lookup value is going to be the same, which is B9 in this case. The table array will stay the same. The only thing that changes is that column index number. So th in this case, I'm looking for the net weight, which is in column D, which is equal to four. So again, A is one, B is two, C is three, D is four, so on and so forth, depending on where your table starts, right? So since mine started in A, it's equal to one, right? So right here, range lookup, I type in false. All right, there we go. So that works great for Fitbits. What happens if I delete that word Fitbits? It says NA, that's because there's nothing in the lookup value. So it's looking in this right here in box set and it's saying we don't have anything there. So I'm gonna tr type in this one right here, great grains. So if I type in great grains, it responds by getting me 165 for calories, two for number of components, and 15 for the weight. So that's really good. Our VLOOKUP is working great here. I type in, I'm gonna type in Munchy Madness, but I'm gonna type it wrong. I typed Munchy Madness. It says NA, that's because we put false there, right? We're looking for exact matches only. So if I type in the N on the Munchy Madness, then I see the result displays fine. Lastly, I type in sweet stuff right here, sweet, stuff and we get those results as well. So that's uh, how we can use the VLOOKUP function. Now keep in mind, this can be used on much larger tables, right? You can use this if you're an auto parts warehouse, you can have 2000 different types of parts, right? As long as you know what that lookup value is, it could be an item number or a part number, you can easily find all of the statistics on that particular piece of data. So VLOOKUP, great function, uh, great request. Thank you, Carrie. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it helped you learn a little bit more about Microsoft Excel. If you'd like to lear learn even more, I have an entire tutorial on my playlist page about Microsoft Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Access, and other computer fundamentals. So I encourage you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have a request for something that you need to learn, put it in the comment section and I'll make a video for you. Thank you so much and I hope to see you again soon.